Although this is a toy trailer, the back wall drops down into a ramp for big toys. I have this couch bed system here fixed for strength and durability. So it won't fold up like most do. And if you do want to use it for big stuff and, and that ramp, let me know in advance. And we got to make sure we protect this couch system. It's just a, a good foam air mattress, self-inflated. You can add air or take it out to be as firm or soft as you want for sleeping or sitting. And this cushion comes out just easily. I've got the wool blanket and a Coleman sleeping bag. So this is a good quick converter to sleeping. I can take out the fold-up table and chair if someone wants more space and not needed that, but it's a nice little desk area and can put some shelving up there as well, but it'll fall off while driving. I've got some extra towels up here and this is for 30 amp hookup for safety. So protection from power surges. And we've got the full size bed, fully linen sheets, bedding and pillowcases with a wool blanket and a comforter. And we can add more upon request. Also the sleeping bag, Coleman sleeping bag and a wool blanket with the pillows up here. Mostly for anyone around 100 pounds or less. Great for children, but not adults, especially over 120 pounds, just because I don't know how strong this really is. And there's not a whole lot of space. It's about 25, 26 inches wide and 80 inches long. So plenty of length in there. And here's your bathroom. Not real big, but it's got the fan and lighting and shower system. To prevent the septic tank from getting clogged and expensive repairs, only use specified RV toilet paper, which is 100% biodegradable and dissolves quickly. Heating, propane stove system, sink, works fine. And if you just gotta turn this little knob switch here, kinda hard to get it going. I just have the 110 hooked up right now. And here's our, you gotta push this little button and pull with the other hand for the refrigerator. Make sure you turn the refrigerator on when you have it plugged in if you want the cooling system to kick in to keep it cold. Otherwise, it's just like, like an ice box. And that's for the heating. Got the air conditioning up here, which is needed for the 30 amps. If you don't have 30 amps hooked up, like with this converter for the extension, then everything else pretty much runs without needing 30 amps. I have it hooked up to the 110 into the house right now where I'm at. And we also have the microwave and a little drawer here. If you're here, I'm gonna keep information on the stereo system and the trailer for any details to figure anything out with a stereo system right here. And I think that's about it for now. Anything else, just let's correspond about it. One more thing I almost completely forgot is the spare tire in case if it's needed, hopefully not, but I store it right under the twin bed here and there's some extra space for storage to tuck things under out of the way.